Well, I think we got the market updates or something we'll start with, right? Is that what we're going to do today? Start with the market updates? All yeah. Right. Yeah, I think so. Um, it's been, I mean, other than Bitcoin bouncing up and down, it's been pretty quiet. Um, I found a couple of things, um, kind of a link talking about uh, in token unlocks and just in the last two weeks, $2 billion I think worth. That's crazy. Uh, that's a lot. That's from Coinpedia. You want to look it up? Um, I don't have much to say on it. It's just, I think it's all remnant for us. It's all kind of reminiscent, right? Of previous, of the, of the run up to previous yeah. bulls. Uh, I think, I think we're probably going to say this a lot today. Like, <laughs> yep, this is what happened last time. <laughs> so I think we're going to see even more of this coming up in the, in the next few months. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, another clear sign that things are I, just going as normal. I think that's right. I think that's, and, that's, that's correct. Uh, ahead, Nick. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. I think that's exactly what, uh, we were talking about last time. It really fits with what we really plan. Um, big expectations for the halving, nothing really happens. And then some correction, uh, I think we're still not completely, um, out of it. I, I think we might have still some, some little way down, but I think we'll still consolidate for a few months. Like you just said before, before we see the new, you know, the new hype behind Bitcoin and everything kind of exploding everywhere. So um, I think we, we have a little bit of time to, to prepare probably after yep. summer or the, yeah, the last part of the year, we'll probably see a lot of movement. Yeah. I think a lot of people are, are just, they're kind of mirroring the same comments. It's not a lot of fear. It's more like be patient, <laughs> right? I think that's what it is. Yeah. We've been here before. Yeah. There has been the pullback that has happened quite a few times now we say quite a few it sounds like there's been many but there's the few times it's happened there's been that pullback and then there's a lot of predictions on you know potential peaks which i don't necessarily like to get into but some people have really stressed that peak where it's you know a five times where we are here or a four times where we are here um based upon previous trends right this these cycles that happens with Bitcoin, there's always that pullback, there's a bounce. And I think you can look mm -hmm. at those kinds of things. But no matter what, again, as I stated last two weeks ago, if you, and, and I stated also in social media channels, if you zoom out, it's always been an upward chart. <laughs> this is just, just always. Yeah, happen. well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like on that in the last two weeks, we saw Bitcoin tank uh, 7%. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's funny how in Bitcoin tanking is 7% and then like in stocks, like tanking is like or less <laughs> and, and in altcoins <laughs> tanking is like what? 98%. I mean, yeah, <laughs> the same word for, for different things. Well, the volatility is there. You don't get the volatility in stocks. You get extreme volatility in, yeah. in altcoins, right? Which we're very familiar with yeah. and you get less volatility Definitely. as you move into, into Bitcoin. Right. Um, but it can still happen. I, I, I won't say that Bitcoin can't drop a, a number that is super hyper uh, dynamic. It, it absolutely can. But then it can also rebound the same way and get that level of stability that you, you normally Yeah. Yeah, I think. And so what I've seen is like when we dipped down into the 50s, I saw, I saw some panic yeah. uh, on the interwaves there. Uh, I didn't feel it myself because I, I just thought, this feels kind of normal. Yeah. I mean, it's a little, you know, it's a little weird to see it, but I mean, if I saw something in the forties, I think I would <laughs> get, get a little I think emotional. People would really panic. It didn't feel like, it didn't feel like an emergency to me at all, but I, I you know, all the doom saying had cropped out and it, like, it's, that sort of felt like a bottom. I'm not saying we're there. It just felt like one to me because people were saying things unironically. They were like, you know, this looks bad. And, I don't didn't think it was to prove it out yeah. not to be, but when people start saying that, like without sarcasm, uh, that 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 feels like a, that feels like a good time to me. Like we're 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 gonna head up after that. But again, I I think we I, I think uh, somebody said uh, that we're still expecting. It was on, I think Neegs, you pointed out. So we're still expecting, or somebody's still still expecting another decent right, drop. So I was reading and. 
honestly, it's not it's not anything that is groundbreaking. It's really something we should expect because it's yeah. again aligned with what you what we said in the last two videos. It's basically looking at past performance, right? And the person yeah. was saying that based on past performance and particularly 2016, it the the behavior basically reproduced exactly the same uh, the same pattern. And if we see another leg down. Uh, to be again to be matching the 2016 pattern we would have basically within 10 to 15 days to to see a new low before seeing a slow consolidation up and again in a few months um seeing for going for the new top and you know they're throwing numbers yep. 200k 300k yeah I mean, we yeah, we'll pretty, see we'll see where wild. we go but until now it is we'll really see. following what again what we expected which is something very similar to to what we have seen until now it's it could always change and it could we could always see a different pattern from the ones we have all, always seen but if you expect that you're kind of betting against the odds because like sure. the odds are really following the same pattern yeah, I see an article from Kitco, which I think is has some legitimacy, as much as it goes, talking about a 200k Bitcoin price target. I I have just personally, I have trouble believing it. It's kind of like the fallacy of yeah. large numbers to me. Um, and I'm I'm not a trader, but it's this is the kind of stuff that I've seen in the last two weeks that we've just been talking about. No real. Nothing ground shaking, earth shattering in in the big in the crypto markets. Yeah.